So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your seventh responsive web design tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to add media queries for landscape and portrait views exclusively. So let's just begin. Our website as you can see right now looks pretty messed up on a landscape view. So let's just do something about it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create another media query for 720 and i'm gonna say and maximum with 720 and orientation orientation is landscape as simple as that so now we are only gonna target devices which are in landscape view right so and uh, i think it will not work with these iframes so essentially we're going to make use of the actual device toggler provided by this guy right here right so if i do like uh, display body display none yeah that works okay perfectly fine so if i get rid of this reload you can see it is messed up so in the landscape you can see that we have got more width but less height so we cannot afford to have these elements right here so i'm just gonna get rid of language group at all and uh, we need to position this appropriately as well so um we have this welcome again yeah i have messed it up again so what we can do is top 50 percent margin top zero and uh, we can say transform translate y minus 50 percent but uh, it's just touching that so i do not want that so my header which is um it is around 77 pixels roughly with the logo size so what we can do is say plus 77 pixel and just wrap it inside calc yeah looks pretty good but we have again this overwriting sort of thing so we can again get rid of this at all display none and that looks more like a nice and good website I don't know if it will work here yeah it probably didn't or did it I guess it did oh yeah maybe it worked so anyhow we have problem with iPhone 6 now so iPhone 6 this looks good then what's happening here plump yeah this one looks a little bit messed up so what we can do about this Well, it's 736 is just about 720 so we can rather just make it to 736 only that doesn't really matter and we'll get a fixed website right so that should be it and uh, we are um, doing a lot of spacing here so let's just bring it down a little
and there we are and it looks a little bit messed up well that's a close design to 720 we cannot put our 720 code into this so apparently you could even create some media queries to actually specifically target these sort of devices the more famous ones like you start off with apple devices then you move on to some famous samsung devices then nexus and uh, you know then some generic device sizes like 720 480 and all that stuff because uh, you know apple apple is creating 736 pixel by 414 which is uh, you'd never know is a sort of strange number to do so yeah our titles are a little bit messed up so we can just reduce them to three rems and Freerams fixes it pretty much for this device and it looks good again. Yep. So next we have is uh, iPads and all that stuff. And I think we pretty much made it. Again, there might be some devices where it would not be as good as it should be, but mostly we are pretty much covered, right? So yeah, that is all for this tutorial. And finally, finally, in the next one, we are going to set up some viewports and uh, we'll actually test on a real device as well. So that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and by the way i almost forgot to tell you in every tutorial that i have come up with a new form the code down form right it's a community of programmers like you only and i need your support and help to uh, make it grow and together we can do it and uh, i'll be hyperactive there would be supporting all of your queries from i don't uh, uh, get a lot of time to interact with you guys on youtube's comment section um, because kind of youtube doesn't always inform me about all the comments it sorts of uh, marks a lot of useful comments as spam as well because you guys mostly post links to um, jQuery scripting and uh, write some HTML so YouTube are uh, the audience sort of not um, programming minded type so we need a different place sort of out of YouTube to move our tasks and this is the form I have been working for past two days and uh, I have created some forms here and please make sure you can you contribute to the form or provide any suggestions by going into this journal discussions tab and creating a new topic or um, you know doing going in any other form and posting any relevant content you have or any query any question anything you have made to share with the community and uh, again there's a little thing you need to do you need to create a free account just agree to the terms um, put all the information and get started that's that's pretty much it for you to come for you to join the community and these are some recent posts the latest post and uh, i have created this uh, um, this one responsive design tips and tasks and i have added a website here which essentially is a task for you guys to convert into a responsive layout and i would want you guys to do that and uh, reply me with the code you have done you can attach files here as well and i'll be happy to see and if you get into any problem i'll be happy to help as well so yeah let's just begin our community with this responsive way right so that we can grow and uh, help other programmers as well who are um, struggling or maybe just want to grow or learn from other people like you so yeah that's all for this one and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe 
and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one real quick.